Stan Jabalisco here to explain the concept of a V-beam antenna. A V-beam antenna. If you've heard of a rhombic, you've probably also heard of a V-beam because a V-beam is just a rhombic antenna with the second half cut off. Basically two long wire antennas of length L in wavelengths uh, running off in different directions horizontally separated by this apex angle which I will call alpha. Now the optimum value of this apex angle alpha depends on the length of these uh, legs of the V-beam and they should be the same. They should be equally long. Now any long wire antenna, a wavelength or more, will have major lobes coming off at sharp angles with respect to the antenna. For example, this one will have major lobes coming off like this and like that and like this and like that. Well, the same thing will happen with this antenna. Major lobes coming off like that and like that and also like that and like that. Well notice these two uh, lobes right here. The ones that run straight right and left across the screen here. These two antennas, if alpha is just right and if L is just right, these two um, major lobes will line up. They will be parallel so they will reinforce each other and produce a sort of super major lobe. Whereas these other ones will still be pretty strong lobes but they won't reinforce each other the way that these two do. So the concept of the V-beam is to adjust the lengths and the angle in such a way that this state of affairs prevails. You will need a balanced feed line, preferably ladder line of 450 or 600 ohms, an antenna tuner, and your radio. And if uh, you want to make this a unidirectional pattern instead of this rather complicated bidirectional pattern, you can do a little trick. Well, let's just see what happens when I try to erase all of these see what else dies along with it see what other goofy stuff happens by the way my call sign is w1gv whiskey one good vibrations operating from the black holes of dakota territory united states of advertising in the little town of lead the old mining town of lead where now they have a Deep Underground Science and Engineering Laboratory. You can look that up uh, on my website under Neutrino Lab, I believe it's called. Anyway, getting back to the concept of the V-beam and how to make it unidirectional, what you can do is you can terminate each end of this antenna with a non-inductive resistor. That non-inductive resistor will have to have a power dissipation rating equal up to the task of dissipating half of the transmitter output power. Actually, each one of these two antennas, because they share the signal, will have to be able to dissipate one-fourth of the transmitter output power. And you may ask, well, why would you want to dissipate all that power and waste it? Well, what tends to happen with any long wire antenna that's terminated like this, with an, generally speaking, approximately 600 ohm non-inductive high wattage resistor, which you'll have to fabricate for yourself, you won't find it in the stores, when you terminate a long wire like this, you get rid of the back lobes. So these lobes that run off towards the left, in general, will disappear. So you'll only end up with these. <clears throat> now what you're going to find is that these two lobes that send a signal from the left to the right, if the lengths and the angle are optimized, will 
coincide in direction and produce a super major lobe. And you'll get minor major lobes going off like that. Uh, and you'll also, uh, you, you will note, however, you will not get these other lobes going off in the other directions, backward. When a signal comes in, it'll have to come in from what looks like the east here, move from right to left to be the most sensitive of this end, um, direction of this antenna. So a V-beam really works very much like a rhombic. It's just half of a rhombic. Uh, it's a little bit uh, less complicated, a little bit less real estate perhaps, but you need two resistors instead of just one. Uh, and uh, so that is the concept then of a V-beam antenna, very similar to a rhombic. You might call it a half rhombic. You know, I write bad enough to make your pharmacist green with envy. But I hope you can read this and understand the basic concept here. Stan Jabalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, saying 73 now, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long.